Today, we will explore some of the new Salesforce integration features, such as synchronization of customer records between Salesforce CRM and Sage X3. And you will see how you have the ability to display and update customer orders in Salesforce using the new Sage X3 Salesforce CRM connector. Salesforce Connector is a cloud-based solution that utilizes the capabilities of both systems. It also offers access to the most recent available customer data on both systems. And it allows the sales team to have visibility to the ERP-related information. Some of the features available include the option to send the account information from Salesforce to Sage X3, including shipping, billing, and mailing addresses of each account. You can also update your Sage X3 customers from Salesforce. Similarly, Sage X3 users can update linked records from Salesforce. In the same way, you can display order and details from both systems seamlessly. Please note that initial setup on both Salesforce and Sage X3 is required for this application to work properly. Also, initial import and export of data is a manual process. More information is available in the Getting Started document. This demonstration will show you how Salesforce Connector and Sage X3 work together seamlessly. Now we're going to demo the Sage X3 Salesforce application. After the customer installs this application from the App Exchange under Salesforce Enterprise Edition environment, he should be able to see the Sage X3 Salesforce Connector app menu from the list of app menus in the top right hand corner of your Salesforce menu. By selecting that app menu, you will have a different set of tabs available. The Salesforce admin must select the Sage X3 Setup tab to create the initial setups that are required for this application to work properly. The Salesforce admin needs to provide web services information, the endpoint URL, and the pool name for Sage X3. You must also define the Salesforce account types that are mappable as customers to Sage X3 by selecting, adding, removing fields from Salesforce types to Sage X3 customer type. When an account is created within Salesforce and it becomes one of the Salesforce types defined within the Sage X3 customer types, those accounts will be linked to Sage X3. When the selections are done, select Save to save the settings. An error or success message will be displayed. Now that the setup is done, let's go to the Accounts tab to create a new account. Let's call this account Demo3. We'll select the type as Customer Direct. This was one of the types that we selected when we created the setup to be linked to Sage X3. Let's also add the billing and shipping address to this account as well as the phone number. Save this. Now we're on the account detail page that shows the data that was just entered. As you can see, there is a message that the record is saved but not yet sent to X3. However, there is also now a button enabled that lets us send to Sage X3. Let's send that record now. If we go back and click Edit, you can now see that the message shows that the record is associated with Sage X3 and the button is gone. Any updates from this point will be seamlessly upgraded by Sage X3 every time you click Save. If we add a website called demo3.com and click Save, we've updated Sage X3 automatically. 
you can see that in Salesforce, there is a message saying that the record is associated with Sage X3. Let's hit return to go back to the account details page. Let's add a new contact. We'll call it contact3. For the account name, we'll call it demo3. We'll add an email, contact3 at sage.com. We'll change the address to 500 Center Drive in Irvine, California. Save this record. We are redirected back to the contact detail page where we'll select edit and then send to Sage X3. If we go back and edit, you can see that the record is now associated with Sage X3. Now on the Sage X3 site, we're going to see that the Demo3 account we have created does appear in Sage X3. This is the record we created named Demo3. As you can see, both billing and shipping addresses for the account have been created. Also, the website we created is now shown. These addresses are for the contacts listed. If we go to the Contacts tab, we can see our Contact 3 listed. CNT01 is the mailing address. You can also see it here on the Address tab. Now let's update the billing address by adding Suite 102 and saving this record in Sage X3. By clicking the Save button, the record for the address for Demo3 in Salesforce is also updated. I've added a sales order in Sage X3, and I'm going to view this order in Salesforce. We're back on the account page in Salesforce and have selected the Demo3 account. You can see that the billing address has been updated with the suite number 102. You can also see a button, View Sage X3 Customer, that we'll select. This is the customer detail page pulled in real time as view only data from Sage X3. There is a sales order created in Sage X3 that once selected will display the more detailed information about that sales order from the Salesforce site. In this module, you have learned about some of the Salesforce integration features between Salesforce CRM and Sage X3, including synchronizing, displaying, and updating customer records.